Hey there, true believers. Frank is Aragi with Moral's Plate Utrasa 2, the Heroes of the Guard Project. The last time, we killed the second dragon, which was named Dragon. Now, the third dragon. Uh, the third and fourth dragons that we're going to be fighting really could be done in any order, but it's more convenient to do this one first, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one first. I think he's the harder one, but we're going to do him first anyway. The first quest we need... Oh, Oh, yeah, I remember this quest. Um, Beautiful Queen is a really long, complicated quest. If you guys want me to do it, I will. It's not worth it at all, really. So it's it's up to you. If you want me to do it or not, I don't want to. <laughs> It'll be a set all by itself if I do. But we need this one, the perfect gift. So let's do the perfect gift. Really. Why, why us in particular? Yeah, well, there you go then. It happens a lot with our guild. People just want us to do things. Mm. Alright. Go talk to someone else. Thanks, Cass. Big help. So, what's up now? Please don't. You, you may kill us. I know we're level 73 adventurers, but you may kill us with a great big hug. We're allergic to love. I don't think I have met your daughter in this playthrough. I mean, I've met her through uh, uh, Untold 2, but I don't think we've met your daughter yet in this playthrough. <laughs> ah, yes, your, your famous guild. My daughter knows about you, so you should know about my random daughter you've never met. We're gonna meet her daughter first. She's adorable. And she's nervous around us. That's even more adorable. That was it? Oh, fine. <laughs> yeah, shyness. Yep, that's yep, that's from you, alright. Let's go with that. Ah, that explains the present then. Well, I mean, we are super cool badasses, so I mean, I don't blame her. Anything as long as we think she likes it. That's, that's just vague enough to work. Cool. So what are we gonna, what are we gonna get a little girl? Oh, hello. The nurse, I wanna say? Your little hat and coat tell me you're a nurse. No, I don't remember you in particular. Actually, we haven't been in to see you guys all that much, to be fully honest. But... Uh, sure. Tell her about the quest. Why not? Can't possibly hurt things. somehow don't think the cute little girl at the inn is going to want parasite samples, but, I mean, that's just me. I don't think I want to know what that last word is. Cuticula? I don't even know what, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Flowers will work. South side of the second floor. Hmm. Yeah, it's a bit generic. Yeah, why not? Sure. Thanks. Well, I guess we'll, actually, we'll ask around town then. Uh, pro nothing. I don't think we're gonna learn anything at the inn because she's she didn't help us before. I'm gonna guess the hospital was. Her was the assistant. So let's see what, uh, see what an, an, another little girl thinks about presents. Maybe, maybe that'll help us here. And 
why why were you laughing then? That, that's fair. That's that's fair. Yeah, you're you're fine to laugh. Continue. <laughs> Abigail, focus. Gifts, gift ideas, please. I actually don't know the whistling bird, but what do you know about the about said bird? Southeast 10th floor, then. It's hmm, a good option. Cool. Thanks for that. that was an actual suggestion. Cass, what do you think? Yeah, nobody seems to, but yeah, no. Hmm. Maybe we should go check that out anyway, even if we don't go there for the uh yeah, I imagined. Cool. Thanks, Cass. Everyone's being so helpful. But the Explorer's Guild, what do you have to say? I'm just asking everybody. Don't don't give me a lip, all right? I really don't think a sword's gonna be the best for this girl. Um, allergies are a thought. helpful. Let's see what you gotta say, if you have anything. <clears throat> uh, little girl presents? Do you know anything about that there, old man? I'm not gonna ask you have a seat afterward, just please help me. No one's really giving me good advice, please. Just something. Cool, thanks. Well, at least you admit she's adorable, huh? Other persons in the city. Thanks. <clears throat> okay. So it looks like we have uh, northwest 7th floor, south 2nd floor, uh, south... Like, I think it was southeast 9th or southeast 10th. Um, in this quest, it doesn't actually matter which one you get they're all they're always a good gift but in um, but uh, but in untold 2 you can get all of the gifts and just shower this poor embarrassed girl in all of the presents but since we have to pick one might as well get this one might as well get this one for uh, this one from the 10th floor cuz i personally like this one the most and i can do this Death! Death has come to this stratum, and it is I, Guild Azure. But we need to go over here, because we're going to the uh, south, to the southeast of the floor. So we need to go into unmapped territory. Ooh, I think it's. Uh... 
I was actually gonna be right too. Look at that. I need to beat through these Addle Owls first, because uh, they're just in the way. Okay, let me go to here, which has a fork. Go work, Ryan. You're the best around. Let's try that again. Oh, let's map that. It looks like it goes up. It has one that's probably just going to be that, and then I don't know what's up from there. We need to go down here. So it looks like that's the case there. We can paint that there. And we can go this way. So let's, go, so let's go ahead and go this way. As you enter the room, you hear a mysterious sound. Is that, is that a bird song? The flute-like chirping continues for a, mo a, mo a moment before stopping. You think back to the quest you accepted at the bar. Your task is to find a, a birthday present for the innkeeper's daughter. You recall being told of a bird that hoards shiny objects. Could the chirping have come from that rarely seen bird? Look for the nest? Sure. You probably move up to the move, move up to the bird's nest, taking care not not to startle it. Peeking through the peeking through the bushes, you you can see a neatly built nest with shiny stones inside. You reach to grab one when you hear wings flapping overhead as, as something drifts down. It is a multicolored feather with several radiant hues. The bird that dropped it seems to be gone. In any event, the, the, the feather the feather would, 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 uh, would make a good gift. You leave a few coins in the, in the nest as homage to the bird and, and and depart the area. Yay, Hugh Quill. Cool. As I said, you can only do uh, one of these gifts in this game. So I've opted to do this one. Please stop. Just in general, all of you. Not, 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 I think a really, a really pretty feather would be a good gift. Or is it before you open it? Yes. Ah, Fire Mist. Okay. Let's head back to town now. What does a fire mist do? Oh, it diffuses fire attacks. That's nifty. We can use that at some point, maybe. Let's go ahead and sell these things. Oh, sold my lure bell by accident. Yeah, that's fine. We didn't need it anyway right now. We're good to not have it. Let's go return this. Let's go turn in this quest. The perfect gift. I guess party's just starting. Hey, look at that. Yes, it's for you. Why wouldn't it be for you? It's your birthday. Probably a long time ago, because of when I got this quest. Uh, she likes all of the gifts equally, so it doesn't matter which, which one you get. It's just, it's just how much work you want to put into the quest. next quest we need to do is the Sleeping Duke. So let's go ahead and do this one. Hmm. Well, well, if it's from the Duchy, I would agree with you. That's a, that's a solid question, actually. That's fair, I suppose. All 
Alright, Duke's Palace it is. Yeah, I've been in here quite a while, quite a while, but okay. Hmm. All right. So he had a lot of nicknames. Got it. Or was a dark hunter. That's weird. Hmm. Under the blue reptile's gaze. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably what it is. we could do that. <clears throat> Hidden on the 14th floor. Hmm. Alright. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. Well, off we go then. Do we have a warp wire? I think we have a warp wire. Yes. Okay, cool. Alright, off we go. Let's go to Pedal Bridge, though, so I can go back to, um... So I can do this to be on the 15th floor. We have to get through everything. Actually, this isn't that. This isn't gonna be that hard to get back through. Just a quick uh, couple steps, really. Once we're back on the 14th floor. Should be able to find the uh, shortcut there. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's see. Hmm. I think we should probably head this way, see what's going on through here. I've gone this long without fixing this section of map. Good work, self. Rain is best explorer. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. This is unexplored territory. Is this even where we need to go? It's not. Hello. Ah, clever girl. Alright. What's that all about, then? Doubt this is where we need to be, but it is an item. Why is my sense before you open it? Yes. Ah, good, good item too. That's fair. All right. Now let's see. So we need to go back. I know where we need to go. It's just how we're gonna get there is the uh, question. What's up, guy? Cool. Alright, that was fun. It should be over this way. Well, not over this way, but we can get there from here. We'll see if it's right. Yeah. Alrighty. So those so those gels don't die in one shot. Very well. Very gel. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. 
remember when these were hard? These used to be a challenge at one point. Let's see if it's over this way. Pretty sure it's. As you proceed into the frozen grounds, you stop, seeing something move in the distance, from behind you. A human-like silhouette melts into the snowy, env snowy environs upon realizing your presence. You charge closer, but a gust of wind blows, th blows through and the silhouette disappears. You squint, wondering if you saw true, but nothing is there. What could it have been? Hmm. A secret passageway. That's what it was. This is just that. find out what's what's continuing down here in the in just a moment so hold on and we'll be right back <laughs> 